Christy Miller, and I'm here to tell you about a really exciting interactive project that's available for you to help introduce your students to the instruments of the orchestra. It's called Discover the Instruments of the Orchestra. With this resource, you're able to give your students an opportunity to see and hear and find out about all of the instruments in the orchestral family. Let's take a look inside. By clicking on the buttons to the left-hand side of the screen, let's say the string family, it links you directly to that family and all of the instruments that are found there. Here, the students can name them, see them, and if I selected one of these instruments, let's say the violin, everybody loves the violin, not only can we see a close-up version of this instrument, but we can also hear what it sounds like. After they're finished listening to the violin, you can take them to the Fun Facts page. Here, you can read about the violin, the role it plays in the orchestra, and a lot of fun and interesting things. Included on this page is a list of masterwork recordings where the violin is featured. A PDF version of this page is also available for viewing and printing. Let's go back to the opening screen. There's a part of this resource I haven't even told you about, my favorite part. And here it is. It's called Review and Assess. By selecting on this icon, it takes me to two resources that can be used to reinforce the information that you've given your students. The first one is called Who Am I? I can select anywhere on that chart, and it shows all of the instruments that we have learned about in this lesson. If I select one of those instruments, let's say the trumpet, because everybody loves the trumpet, the students are able to hear what the trumpet sounds like. Or better yet, have a student come forward and select an instrument. Hmm. <laughs> Now let's see what the bottom chart has to offer. No instrumental study would be complete without Benjamin Britten's Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra. By selecting on the speaker icon found on this chart, the students can follow the listening map while listening to this wonderful music. Let's listen. The chart is so wonderfully laid out the students have a general idea about what's going on and what's coming up. Here they go. And now we're in the woodwind section. What a powerful teaching tool this can be for you in your classroom. In fact, I can't think of a more fun and exciting way to teach your students about the instruments of the orchestra.